Hi everyone, how are you? It's me, Spiritual Dowsy. Hopefully you are all doing good out there. Uh, welcome to my channel if you're new. Hopefully these uh, messages in my videos resonate with you. And if they don't, like I always say, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So today we're doing the energy update for March 2022. Hopefully February was easy for you, but I can tell you it was a very intense month. Now, the same will probably be for the month of March, and the numerology surrounding this month is around the three. The three is a spiritual number. It deals with more of the etheric type of events, and uh, that's because it's around the ideas and the lessons we learn out of the physical manifestations of the one and the two, right? And also, there's a social element to this number because we're no longer dealing with us and a one co-creator. We're dealing with us and a co-creator and another person. So there's a social aspect to this. But if you roll this in with the, the numerology of the sixth for the year, you get a, a, a numerology of a nine. Now nine is about completions. And because of the three aspect that's playing into this, as well as the sixth number that we're dealing with, it's with harmony and moving things out and clearing so that we can bring in more peace and joy. I really feel like this is around completions of relationships or situations you're dealing from a social event. Also, it could be really involved pretty much around the collective agreements, the collective contracts that we have uh, with society that may feel like they're coming to an end. What do I mean by that? You know, our idea around war in fighting in um, uh, incursions and things that are happening between different countries. How about the things that we have socially dealing with viruses and lockdowns or about the political gambit and the corruptions involved with corporations and all of our other society type of uh, experiences. The contracts that we have individually with that in the collective, it feels like a lot of us are feeling like we don't want this anymore. We want to end this and come to a closure on this. So this month has some of this social, etheric type of energy to it looking to be completed and to have you move into a space of higher alignment things that are better for you as well as the collective so closing things out and moving things into a new because when things close out at the same to at the same time a door opens up so there is an aspect of new birthing and new new you and new new passions and new paths and, and etc as you align more on the higher good in in, in connection with source and love so what's going to aid some of the numerology and the, this, this energy I'm talking about? Well, we have the new moon in Pisces, okay? New moon in Pisces. I talk about the lunar cycles. New moons are about setting intentions. And, and being a Pisces energy, we're talking about ideas from the etheric level. We're talking about imagination, visualizing, dreaming of the anew, dreaming of where to go from here, through, dreaming of more of the... I would say the idealisms of which we would desire for ourselves as well as the collective. And especially what's happening in the world today. I really think it's important for all of us to kind of focus in our heart as well into the feminine energies of what we can imagine for our world in terms of peace and joy for ourselves and for the collective would be really, really, really powerful to serve uh, ourselves and the collective given the global events that are occurring at this moment. So take that time to really dream things up for a better world for all of us rather than just, just for you but all as for the collective. What would the golden age of humanity feel like and be like in your, rea in your own personal world and dreaming and have that energy expanded outward in your being as you go along every single day for this month. The other part of this is that we're going into the full moon cycle of the Virgo here. And um, full moon in Virgo really is about manifesting things that we really need. So although we have these dreaming aspects and these etheric kind of uh, dreaming and goals, what we want for ourselves in the collective, Virgo energy in the full moon is going to help us manifest things that we really need to look at, really need to manifest to clear things out so we can bring in more peace and joy in our life. Talked about that numerology of the six of the year, harmony, right? Harmony is not all about love and sunshine. It's all about clearing things out, that grueling process of, of going through the muck and so that you can clean out and bring in more peace and joy in your life. 
Well, this full moon cycle is really going to focus on those things that you kind of have put on the back burner, put things that are important to you that should have been prioritized and you put them to the back burner because you've had other things that perhaps have taken your attention. So this full moon cycle is really going to bring all of that back in full um, force. You're going to have to be dealt with that. And I really feel because of the energies, it's probably going to be around unhealthy aspects to our relationships that you just put blinders on. So for instance, perhaps this is an argument that hasn't been brought up or a conversation or topic in the relationship that hasn't been brought up that really needs to come up so that you can find balance, rectify it, neutralize the energy, and so you can go forward with more peace and love. How will that look like? Perhaps it will be a fight. Perhaps it will be an ending of a relationship or an ending of some type of situation with another uh, a, a group or situation, social situation that doesn't that that doesn't fit you, and really requires you to integrate that and move forward in a different way in the new kind of new beginning. So closing out a lot of the things, and I really think it's happening in the relationship aspect, the social contract uh, construct contracts that we have, and we'll see how that plays forward. Now again, this will be equal out because of the spring equinox here on the twentieth. That is equal time between day and night, right? Equal balance, balance here I'm talking about. Balance is the key, clearing things out, bringing balance to the shadow and the light, bring, uh, and bringing balance to the, the consciousness and the uh, unconscious, awareness, and, and bringing things up so that they can be cleared out so we can find balance within ourselves, physically, etherically, emotionally, and mentally. Okay, so all of that is probably going to be kind of the overall themes that are be playing out. But what I can say is um, this idea for for this month is this idea of uncertainty. Okay, a lot of us are dealing with uncertainty, uncertainty what's happening within our personal lives, uncertainty what's happening in our more expanded area with companies and in the in the workplace and the relationships that we have, but also uncertainty with which the direction of our world is heading into. There is this um, idea that that uncertainty really causes a lot of us to feel the stress, anxiety, uh, makes us feel sad, depressed, uh, anger, uh, all these things that don't really feel very good. And it is through the uncertainty though that we get to learn more about ourselves and it is this energy that's coming forward this month that wants us to lean more into the uncertainty. Not in the sense of fear, but in a sense of adventure and wonder as you go along. Yes, it's very difficult to lean into that because we have built our box around our life that has all the constructs of our beliefs and the filters, etc. And we have that nice little comfortable box. And in that box, we know how things work out and how they fit. And the world is really becoming, the uncertainty of the world is really pressing upon us. And our little box is getting smaller and smaller and it's making it a lot of, making it very difficult for us. And you can kind of probably feel that in the, in the air and the energy of your own world as well as the collective. It would really help you, especially as this new thing, new energy is coming out and, and things are closing out, and especially in the relationship social area for you to lean in with a sense of wonder and adventure. As you, <coughs> excuse me, as you align with your highest good and you lean into adventure and wonder of how things are going to be and have the sense of adventure and how your life is going to be, you will see that the path of which of, of, of that you are aligned with, that higher, the higher self, the, the, the passions and joys and the path that you're taking and aligning with will start to unveil itself. And that through that process, you'll be in better alignment as you go along and you really enjoy that process. This month is really about going through that fear and leaning into the uncertainty, leaning into what may be unknown because what you built around yourself, it limits you from what you're able to see and understand. And once you're able to have a sense of adventure and a sense of wonder into the uncertainty, you don't know what you don't know. And the universe knows more, infinitely more, than what you know about what could be better for you as you go along. So in this 
new moon and Pisces type of energy and the dreaming and the wonder and, and to just have the sense of adventure in that process while allowing the things that come up through the full moon energy of the Virgo to be cleared and to, and to be removed and to integrate allows you to have this continued sense of wonder to open up the path, to bring that spark of life, to bring that passion and that joy back into your life and excitement and to really ride that wave of, of, of the current of life as you go along. So this energy is all about wonderment and about adventure, being adventurous and taking and leaning into that uncertainty as we go along. Through that uncertainty, it's also a good time to kind of step back from what's happening out in the world, right? The, the noise, the distractions of what's playing out in the world and to kind of be a little bit more of a, a loner as you go along. Reflect on what is occurring. Seek to know yourself through the events that are happening in your world and what is coming up in, in your body and, and needing to be cleared out and, and, and what needs to be rearranged so you have a, in, in alignment with your, your, your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and to get out of your own way as things want to be cleared out. That's only going to happen if you step inward and you allow your space for that to be cleared out and to be honored and to be loved, right? More self-awareness what more self-awareness is being called as things are closing out and new beginnings are start in, in the path for these new beginnings are starting to open up. You can't do that if you're constantly worried about the box that you're in and you're worried and fearful of what's happening out in the world. Good time to step back, allow that energy to play out on its own, but to focus inward so you can feel and honor and bring awareness to your own life to see the things that need to be cleared out and honored and to open up to the path through adventure and wonder as you go along for this month. All right, so maybe meditation would be a really good space. You know, find some time to meditate. You can't, the, in the idea of meditation too, you have to also let some things go. So if you're gonna, you can't just add meditation into your life, it's an extremely busy life. What you need to do is find a way to remove something so you can allow space for meditation. I think that would be really helpful for you guys this month because new beginnings, uh, especially as, uh, as one ends something, the door opens, the, the, as things end, what happens at the exact same time is that there's a new door that opens. So through the dreaming and through being a little bit of a hermit or a loner this month, you will have some mental clarity. Mental clarity will come through, especially as things start to close out, right? The things close out, you realize the situations you've been in, the unhealthy relationships, the full moon and Virgo really bringing things that need to come up to be cleared out, the things that have been on the back burner that need to come up and to be cleared out will offer mental clarity. And, and, and it feels like many of you um, don't know that you are actually birthing something new you don't realize it because you're focusing on all the aspects that are keeping you tied into that little box that you have built. So it, it's, it's important for you this month, again, like I said, to go inward, be a little bit of a loner, do a little bit more meditation, bring more awareness into your life so that you can get out of this little box, lean into the, the, the adventure and the uncertainty of the world and the, and the things that are coming to you to relieve some of the stress you get some of that mental clarity to say, ah, I understand that maybe this relationship has been really unhealthy for me. Maybe I have been avoiding an aspect about my relationship that doesn't serve me, right? Maybe it's because I feel like I'm being taken advantage in my relationship and I haven't talked about that or I haven't held boundaries with, uh, uh, with family members or friends, etc. And that's gonna give you mental clarity to say this was what's blocking me, this is what needs to be cleared, and this is the path that really serves me as I go forward, okay? I think that's gonna be part of the closing process as we go along, and mental clarity is definitely gonna happen. And so that means lots of you are going through a transformation this month, closing something out, moving into something new. That's a transformational process, and um, I think that's happening um, because a lot of you have been really focused on 
you know, your careers. You've been focused on the things that, uh, uh, um, like we said, like in terms of the full moon Virgo situation, things that you had put on the back burner that really need to come up. You've kept yourself distracted with life, with your career, with, with a family, with other things. And this month is really gonna bring all that stuff up that need to be integrated, that need to be healed, that need to be looked at, to need to be cleared so you can bring in more peace and joy and, and love and be in alignment with your high good, uh, you're gonna see a lot of transformation. A lot of you guys are gonna go through that transformational process and it's gonna be one heck of a ride. Lean into it, lean into it with the, the uncertainty, with uh, lean into it with adventure. Lean into it with that wonder of what life could be. It's, I know it's difficult, but the power can only come through sitting with it, being aware with it, etc. So lots of, um, uh, uh, um, you know, etheric type of energy here, but I want you to spend some time seeking through the vision, finding your passions, and see if things you know align you know especially as you're going through this transformational process find seek that vision find what really drives you what are your passions and be willing to bring consciousness and awareness to say ah these things i haven't been wanting to look at they, they're coming up and now i'm gonna allow them to come up and and perhaps with that transformational process i'll find more peace joy and love in my life because what i can say for a lot of you in this energy is you probably, um, I think some some of you might need to refine yourself again in this transformational time period. So as things are closing out, right? As things are closing out and you haven't quite seen the new path yet, you haven't seen the new you yet, uh, I want you to try to remember the things that you love, the things that you are passionate about and try to find and this will really help you through this month to help you find that path, that new beginning as things are closing out, especially on the social side. Try to create space for the things that you love and are passionate about. Try to find space and time so that you can explore those things again. This might really help you kind of close things out, go through that transition of closing things out and moving to the new in a little bit of more ease um, if that makes sense, really, you know, work, find that space where you can really work on those things that make you want to smile, right? This goes in alignment with the idea of the adventure and wonder that I'm talking about, right? Whether you want to, uh, um, you know, through the uncertainty, lean into that adventure and wonder and through that process, find things that, you know, you, you really are passionate about, you know, whether it be certain trades, you know, trades or skills uh, uh, that you've always wanted to do or that you've always enjoyed or art or perhaps like physical movement, things like that, that really help you bring uh, peace and joy to your love and smile to your life or could be just like running outdoors, etc. I also think about this from a service level, service to other aspect. The aspects to you that feel fulfilled when you provide service to others in a way that is uh, in a balanced approach, such as holding space for somebody so that they can uh, express themselves, uh, allow their true nature to come out so they can see through your divine presence the trauma that they're holding on to. That service is what I'm talking about, is I think would be really, I feel like a lot of you are, are, are looking to do more of that. And so I would say, if, you're, if, you, if that aligns with you, if that resonates with you, and you're looking to find more service, you know, that, that requires you to do exactly everything I talked about to move things out and then to have that space for you to hold space for others in a level of service to offer them their honor of divinity and love so they themselves can awaken and move forward in their own life. So uh, remember that this year is about clearing out. And, and things that don't fit anymore. And so don't get stuck in the old box that you have built around yourself. Don't get stuck in the rut because you forgot what makes you feel happy. You forgot about the exciting things in your life. And this time period I really think would be extremely helpful through all the energies that I talked about. As you go inward and you look at yourself and you bring more awareness and you see things closing out and you start to see the path, Finding the joy and the passion and the things that are excitement that, that are exciting in your life will help you through that transition uh, uh, and, and 
and move through that transformation in an easier pay, uh, place. And I think that would be really helpful by, you know, really creating some space for you to explore the things that you have forgotten about. So hopefully that, that rambling uh, made sense for you all. I know um, I love you and that you guys can always reach out to me either at um, spiritualdowsy.com or direct message me on my Facebook, Instagram, or any of my, any other of my social media platforms. I love you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.